Fleming on the left. On it goes to Beck, the Danish international. Now Emerson, the Brazilian. Musto, homegrown Englishman. Dininho doing better this time. But it was Parker who won the ball back. Hignett took it off him. Now Juninho. And surely he will get a free kick this time. And he has. And in fact, he's going to caution Pontus Cormac. Well, that seems to me excessive by the referee. I don't think so. And he's away again. Look at that. I mean, you've got to get picked for that. It's as simple as that. He's away. The touch is away. That's a late tackle. He's nowhere near being contact at all. Was it any different to the early tackle that he didn't even give a free kick for, though? Not a lot. Well, a lot of players will tell you you can get away with tackles early on in matches that you won't later on. Here's Hignett. This could be dangerous. Ravinelli with a header, but it carried no conviction. Just didn't get enough on it. Take a quick little free kick. Lesser just looking for this, expecting this to come in. Hignett gets released way on this right side. They've got plenty of bodies. Got a little bit of space, just tried to guide it into the far corner. Came off the shoulder more than anything. Great header away by Pearson. Parker has it back, and now Wicklow for Leicester. This is Lennon. Pryor. It's helped Leicester deal with the middle at the moment, apart from nullifying Juninho a lot, is it? The pace of the build-ups has been rather, I wouldn't say pedestrian, but it's been slow. It's taken plenty of passes. You know, I think if they just changed it all, that varied it a little, just to give Leicester a problem. Because Leicester have been able to get plenty of people behind the ball, quite comfortably. Never been stretched at all in the match. Ten minutes to half-time. No goals, not even a hint of one. This is Pryor. Grayson out on the right flank if he wants that option. Whitlow moving down the left. And Parker here in the middle. Still out. Middlesbrough's throw. Good enough. Leicester have been a bit the same in possession. Oh, I think that's why the game's been devoid of real goal mouth action. The both sides when they've had possession have been pretty cagey with it. I just think occasionally if you've got someone like Heskey then you get it from back to front and get it over the over the top. Just to vary it. Give defenders something different to think about. Pearson just teases one down the line. And there was a handball there. Well, we couldn't have been any closer. And the foul goes against Hickman. Yeah, a little nudge. You see it just in the back. Yeah, the actual hand was from Heskey because he was pushed into the ball. Mind you that our Monday night football is from Ellen Road. Leeds United against Blackburn Rovers on Sky Sports 1. The programme begins at 7. And then next Sunday, Middlesbrough again on our screens for the FA Cup semi-final against Chesterfield. The programme begins at 2. Ravinelli here trying to set one up for Hignett. It was a very good challenge by Wicklow on the edge of his own box. Parker, facing his own goal here, did the right thing. Juninho. Bullmark just got a foot in there, so too did is it? Has to get the throw. Now, I thought that Middlesbrough looked the team most likely to break the deadlock. They've almost on about four or five occasions, picked a pass out to release someone. Frustrating afternoon it's been so far for Juninho. He's been in terrific form in recent weeks for Middlesbrough. His ability to get the ball, keep the ball, run at defenders has opened up many chances for them. But not today, so far. See that again is a great example. That ball played up was a good one from back to front. A little knock down to Hignett, but I thought instead again, driving it out of his feet, driving at the back board, he looked to just flick a little pass off. spectacle it's been disappointing so far but how many times have we said that in big finals until that first goal goes in and then the match has to open up is it 
Emerson deprives Parker of possession. A little touch on the ball, and the fans enjoyed that. I'm sure of that. A bit of a Copacabana beach there. Pearson. Cox. And caution has been the byword for players on both sides so far. No one really taking any risks. Emerson. Ravanelli's layoff. Back to the Brazilian. This is better for Juninho is offside. He doesn't think so. Well, that was much better. Wide and right and wide with a ball play there. This time, he does get it out of his feet. Look, he follows his pass. And he takes it out of his feet. Suddenly they're attacking. That's a tight decision. Again, Lines was a little bit quick with the flag. Looks as though Pryor might have played him on. Spencer Pryor in possession. Is it? It's a clumsy ball straight to Ravanelli. Beck is in a great position ahead of him. Ravanelli gets it onto the left again, but is forced wide. And might have done better really releasing it earlier to Beck there. Well, they do well again defensively. Pryor not tempted into the tackle, just making sure that he doesn't give any space. And that's what the defenders have done for the majority. But this was the one earlier. Lovely little build up. Just rolls it off his foot. Suddenly, Everson's attacking the back four. He releases it perfectly. I mean, there's not even a close that decision, is it? Look at that. He must be, what, two yards on side? The flag is on. Grayson quickly in, and won the ball well. Lennon. Whitlow. Cox closed him down instantly, but Leicester again had the extra man in Lennon. Keller looking for Heskey. He did well to keep that in and find Claridge. Claridge hasn't been able to hold the ball up really on the handful of occasions he's had it. This is Craig Hignett. That's a glorious ball if it stays up. And it has, because Musco just gets there, but now it's out of play. Well, great run. It was too, wasn't it? So I think there's been too little in that first half. Now. Look at the run, it's from deep. It's a good one, it's well timed. Ball's just a little long. But I think a little bit more of that would have stretched the game a little. Looks for Heskey down the centre. Touched away by Pearson. Emerson has it back for Middlesbrough. Fleming, the Republic of Ireland international. And Juninho turned beautifully then. But uh, even when Cormark's not there to dispossess him, there's another Leicester defender not far away. It was Grayson that time. And Leicester have a free kick. Never a man to make his feelings secret, Martin O'Neill. He wears his heart on his sleeve, feels every pass, kicks every ball. Didn't I hear him say before the match in an interview, it's a waste of time me shouting at Wembley. I'm so far away that I never hear me. <laughs> now Walsh going in here with Schwarzer. That's good handling by big Mark Schwarzer. That's what he gives him. So good to have, you know, in any game. You've got a goalkeeper as confident to come 12, 13 yards from his line and do that for you, what he's doing right there. Catch it, catch it clean. Doesn't that help your centre-backs? Hoping to emulate another Australian goalkeeper, Mark Bosnich, who, of course, finished on the winning side for Aston Villa against Leeds United last year. A truly international flavour to English Cup finals these days. And Terry Venables. 
now in charge, of course, of the Australian national team, feels that he can become one of the best in the world.